हेलो फ्रेंड्स टेकिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट वन द क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दिस फाइंड द प्रिंसिपल वैल्यू ऑफ साइन इन वर्स ऑफ माइनस वन अपॉइंट टू ओके नाउ टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो दैट द प्रिंसिपल वैल्यू ऑफ साइन इन वर्स फंक्शन बिलोंग्स टू द क्लोज इंटरवल माइनस पाई बाई टू टू पाई बाई टू ओके and you can also observe it in terms of quadrant that uh, we have to calculate the value that is the principal value for the angle which is going to lie in first or fourth quadrant okay now the sense of angle in first quadrant is quite okay but in fourth quadrant we are going to measure the angle in clockwise direction and and therefore the sense of direction would be negative and we are going to take Uh, for example if we measure any angle 30 degree in uh, clockwise direction it would be equal to minus 30 degree or uh, minus pi by 6 okay so that is why we get this interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 when we take fourth and first quadrant okay now we assume that the principal value as equal to y for sin inverse of minus 1 by 2 okay now whenever we have to calculate the principal value we can do it like this that we place it equal to a certain variable y and when y is equal to sin inverse of something then this means that sin of y is equal to that value so we get sin y is equal to minus 1 by 2 okay so this is a trigonometrical equation okay so we have to just solve it to get the answer okay now from the knowledge of the angles 40 ratio we could easily see that sin of minus 30 or sin of minus pi by 6 is equal to minus 1 by 2 so we can obviously write this value as equal to sin of minus pi by 6 so sin y is equal to sin of minus pi by 6 so y is equal to minus pi by 6 hence we can say that the principal value or the principal branch value of sin inverse of minus 1 by 2 is equal to Minus pi by six, so which is my required answer? Taking question number two of exercise two point one, we have to find the principal value of cos inverse of root three by two. Okay. Now to solve this, firstly we see that the principal uh, value of the branch of the function cos inverse belongs to the interval zero to pi, or we can see that. the principal value of the function cos inverse belongs to first or the second quadrant right so firstly we assume that y is equal to cos inverse of root 3 by 2 so y can be said as the principal value okay so we are going to calculate the value of y so when i write y is equal to cos inverse of root 3 by 2 i mean that cos y is equal to root 3 by 2 and because root 3 by 2 is equal to cos of pi by 6 So cos y can be written as cos of pi by six, or y is equal to pi by six. Hence, the principal value of cos inverse root three by two is equal to pi by six, which is my required answer. Taking question number three of exercise two point one, we have to find the principal value of cos inverse of two. Now to solve this question, we should know that the principal value of cos inverse function belongs to The closed interval minus pi by two to pi by two, except the element zero. Okay, so this means that we have to find the principal value of this cosec inverse function in the first quadrant or the fourth quadrant. Okay, now we assume that the principal value of cosec inverse of two is equal to y. So this means that cosec y is equal to two. Or we can also write that cosec y is equal to cosec pi by six because cosec Pi by six is equal to two, and we can say that since cosec y is, is equal to cosec pi by six, so y is equal to pi by six. Therefore, the principal value of cosec inverse of two is equal to pi by six, which is my required answer. Taking question number four of exercise two point one, we have to find the principal value of ten inverse of minus root three. Okay, now to solve this question. we should know that the principal value of this tan inverse function belongs to the open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 that is 
we have to calculate the principal value of tan inverse minus root 3 in the first quadrant or the fourth quadrant okay so for this we assume that the principal value is equal to y for tan inverse of minus root 3 so we can place tan y is equal to minus root 3 now we know that tan 60 is equal to root 3 okay so if we are going to take 60 degree in the uh, clockwise direction so we can write 10 of minus 60 or 10 of minus pi by 3 as equal to minus root 3 so this gives 10 y is equal to 10 of minus pi by 3 or we can write y is equal to minus pi by 3 or we can say that the principal value of 10 inverse of minus root 3 is equal to minus pi by 3 which is actually my required answer taking question number 5 of exercise 2.1 we have to find the principal value of cos inverse of minus 1 by 2. And now to solve this question, we should be knowing that the principal value of the branch of cos inverse belongs to the closed interval 0 to pi. Or this means that, in other words, we uh, will get the principal branch value or the principal value of cosec inverse function as in this case cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 in the first quadrant or the second quadrant okay so we assume that the principal value of cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 is equal to y or we can say cos y is equal to 1 uh, or we can say cos y is equal to minus 1 by 2 now from the previous knowledge that is from the knowledge of class 11th you should be knowing at this stage that uh, cos of 120 degree or cos of 2 pi by 3 should be equal to minus 1 by 2 okay because cos 2 pi by 3 lies in second quadrant and it is equal to also minus 1 by 2 so we have taken cos 2 pi by 3 and cos y is equal to cos of 2 pi by 3 so this means that y is equal to 2 pi by 3 is equal to the principal value of cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 so which is the required answer Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.